Start off with the elephant in the room though. Uh, that is this big red blob out here towards our west and I know it feels like deja vu. We had this uh, just over a week ago. We had another red blob that ended up becoming Helene. This one could become Milton. Yeah, that's a uh, the next name on the list uh, currently uh, area of convection in the western Gulf of Mexico, but there is now that increasing chance a high chance of tropical development for us on the first coast. We're going to start to see impacts from this indirectly today heading through tomorrow, Monday, Tuesday over towards Wednesday due to those northeasterly winds out ahead of it. So persistent onshore flow. See the guidance though picking up on this developing further down towards the south. Here's the key thing though. There has been inconsistency in the intensity. Sometimes they've been showing it a little bit weak. Uh, I was here last night. We were looking at the model runs. They were a lot weaker this morning, though. Look at what the GFS is showing a full on hurricane off of our west coast. Same with the ECMWF, more of a strong tropical storm. This definitely could be issues for places like Tampa all the way down through southwest Florida. I know we're still recovering from Helene out here. We don't need another storm, but always trying our best to, to keep you informed as we look ahead. And by Wednesday night into Thursday, could be a decent storm out there for us though. As long as it stays further towards the south, which it looks like that's going to be the case. Our forecast doesn't change too much outside of increasing winds here coming in from the northeast, but that nor'easter day after day of rip currents, coastal flooding are going to be issues here, and that's why we have weather impact alert starting from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday over towards Wednesday. So if you're going out to the Jags game, for example, be ready for the rain here. Even today, that northeasterly breeze is setting up and we're going to continue to see that rain for places like the golf tournament out there. So wet roads, street flooding possible, also coastal flooding. So be ready for those longer commutes at the very least as we look ahead for today, though, starting off this morning with some humid conditions here across the first coast, but temperatures will be warming up only into the low 80s through this afternoon with those passing areas of rainfall pretty much throughout the day. So want to keep an eye on that sunrise though is coming up in just a few moments at 722 AM. So get out there and enjoy your day, but we're going to keep you posted on that extended.